So, Peter, good morning. Good morning, Max. It might be helpful to understand how you came to be involved in art and, and your sort of upbringing in Brisbane. Right. Well, as you say, I was born in Brisbane in uh, April of 1945, and that uh, my birth date, I think, was about 10 days before um, Hitler and Eva Braun uh, put an end to themselves mm. uh, in the bunker in uh, Berlin. I can recall one rainy holiday sitting down in uh, the house uh, that we lived in and uh, copying a painting done by my uncle Reg. It was a painting of a gum tree and it was on a calendar that he'd given as a present. And I copied this with my Mickey Mouse or uh, Donald Duck set of watercolours and um, made a pretty good um, fist of it, I have to say. And uh, people uh, who saw this were absolutely amazed and there was mentions of talent and all sorts of things. And clearly this was something to be um, encouraged. And uh, that was like the starting point. That's my memory of when I thought I had something special, which led to my taking a job uh, in my mid-teens with an advertising agency in Brisbane, mm -hmm. in Fortitude Valley. Mm -hmm. And uh, I worked there for three years before I decided that uh, uh, commercial art really wasn't um, the thing that I wanted to do. It held out the possibility of a good income, mm -hmm. I suppose, but uh, I was then discovering serious art and in my uh, innocence or naivety, at about the age of uh, 19, 18 or 19, I embarked on what has now been a, you know, a fairly continuous career ever since. It took between 1965 and probably 1968, because uh, in 1967 I Got it. I'd moved back to Sydney mm -hmm. uh, and was well established there at that point. Uh, and in 1967, I got a, a, a job uh, designing neon signs at Claude Neon. That then led in 1970 to your first significant exhibition um, at Gallery A, which is credited um, today and being the first um, exhibition in Australia to use neon light. Yes. As far as I can recall, it was the first um, public outing, that is mm. the first uh, uh, expression of the idea of installation mm. that was bound up in the title Neon Light Installation that was um, presented uh, to the public in Australia. So uh, I think that's interesting because the, the what we'd had previously was this idea of environmental art, as mm. I mentioned earlier, which was, mm. you know, art that occupied a three-dimensional sp space rather than being a like a work of sculpture on a plinth or a, a painting on a, a gallery wall. When I uh, look back at my work, uh, I, I can see a number of um, nodes of, or points of interest, and um, they, go, they go right from the personal through to the universal, and uh, generally uh, looking at it, you see uh, examples of the personal in my practice. You see examples of uh, the local, I've worked with community groups. We have uh, the national in that uh, a number of the works like the uh, November 11 pieces or on sacred land which came um, shortly thereafter. And then we have uh, the global which is to do with global politics. And then we go to the universal. And uh, that work in some respects uh, was partly an accident. Another area more recently you've become interested in alongside your abiding interest in, in history and the philosophy of history um, and politics um, is that of science and the philosophy of science. And one of your most recent works is um, a work called Light Rain about the universe except gravity from 2013. It's actually the largest neon work, I think, um, that has been produced in Australia. It's, yeah. a, it's a work which is 80 metres long. Right. Um, it was presented at the National Gallery of Victoria in 2013, 2014 for the exhibition Melbourne Now. I've likened the, uh, the um, succinct nature of uh, the Einstein formula, E equals MC squared, uh, with a rowing boat. And if you park E equals MC squared alongside um, everything we know about the universe, uh, a la the Lagrangian model, it looks like parking a rowing boat along, alongside one of those gigantic US uh, aircraft carriers. I mean, uh, it, it's just a, a huge concept that um, seems to me to be simply extraordinary. I mean, it's, uh, 
it's uh, truly breathtaking. But the other interesting thing is that that formula uh, in all its 84 metres uh, not only describes everything that's out there, but it, it's a description of us as well. Mm. It includes us. It's the materiality of us that can be quantified and converted into a formula by virtue of um, a bringing together of two particles and uh, in that collision, what emerges in the space of three trillionths of a second is this description of everything. I mean, now I'm not a particle physicist, but that seems um, from a fairly um, uh, prosaic, uh, mundane layman's point of view, fairly extraordinary. <laughs>